Let's uh, apply those antidotes to Adan. Alright, good. Ah, here we go. Let's talk to this wise old sage really quick. Snore. Here at last, Maz, you say? I've dreamt of this ce ceaselessly, of giving you this thief's key. You will take it. Maz obtained the thief key. Yes. By the way, Maz, there are books that can change the personality of any reader. They are that persuasive. Be careful if you find such a book. Now go, Maz. I shall resume my dreaming. Now what that guy was talking about, let's uh, look at this bookcase really quick. Found Tomboy. Now that's one of those books he was talking about. Um, let's see if there's anything in this. Uh, no. Yeah, um, he was talking about these books that change the personality of it. Remember that personality test I took at the beginning of the game? If you, if you use these books, it will alter that test. Like, they'll alter your uh, result, and you can change your personality and stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to really go too much into that. But it's not good to use certain ones. Like, if you have a really uh, kind-hearted character, and then you give him, like, a, some really dirty book or whatever, you can turn them into a... You can mess up their personality, so I wouldn't mess with those unless you know what you're doing. But right now, I'm just going to fall off the tower, because I've already gotten everything I need here. And then, um, I'm going to go back in here and go downstairs. Now, instead of uh, treading back to Alihan through the way I came, um, I'm going to... First, I'm going to go this way. Um, now that I have the Thieves' Key, I can uh, open certain doors now. Um, well, I'm not going to go here yet, but you'll, you'll see where that leads soon enough. But um, now I can... Uh, I can open, I can get some more treasure over here. Let's see what's in here. 32 gold, good. Now there's another door over here. Um, thieves key door, I think. Yes, um, this leads to more treasure, yes. Ah, I got a wooden hat. That's, that's really helpful. And an agility key, which isn't too helpful. And actually, I'm not sure if the Game Boy Color game, um, has the future, has the, remember what I was talking about in the first video with the seeds and with the formation. I'm not sure if the Game Boy Color version is different than the NES version. I'm not sure if they implemented the the targeting thing or whatever. Oh, no, there's also another thing where um, if there's enemies that target certain people. So if they, ta they're, if they target someone, they'll attack them the whole battle. If you know who that person is, just have them defend. But yet again, I'm not sure if the Game Boy Color version implements all that. Because it could be different than the NES version. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But I'll look into that. And if I'm wrong, then I'll, I'll let you guys know. But I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give the wooden hat to Hope, which is a really good item for her right now. Good. And uh, I'll use the agility seed on. And I'm gonna break my rule of giving all the seeds to my hero. I'll give it to Hope, just for fun, because she really needs uh, high agility. Because the higher the agility, the faster she can cast spells like heal. At in time to need. Now let's uh, let's get out of this room. Ah, where are we? Let's uh, find out. Ah, we're in a little secret uh, passage here, but uh, I'm not gonna go through here just yet. Um, let's um, let's go back to where we came really quick. Um, we'll be coming back. Alright, let's, let's go down here again. Alright, now I wonder where we are. You could probably guess, though. It looks like we're in a little dungeon here. This is the dungeon. You can talk to the prisoners through their cell bars. Oh, this looks like Alihan Castle. So I guess there's uh, tunnels underground that lead to that tower and to Alihan, the town of Alihan, and the castle. And it also leads to that little secret passage up up north. So that's pretty cool. So that's that's a little shortcut back home. Now uh, I'm gonna rest up at I'm gonna rest up at home really quick. And um, and actually, you know what? First, I wanna I want to explore the castle just a little tiny bit. It won't take that long, don't worry. Cause there's some some uh, items I can get here. I'm not gonna talk to everyone. 
But, um... I can't get in there yet. I need the magic key, I think. Okay, there's stuff in here. No, that's the way I came. My bad. There's a princess. Alright, here we go. Ah, another tiny metal. Sweet. Now I'm gonna put all the tiny metals in my bag. Yeah, I'll, I'll organize my items a little later, though. Um, I think there's another place I can go here really quick with the magic key. So look at these barrels really quick. Ah, another tiny metal. Sweet. But uh, sadly, I don't have enough uh, tiny metals to uh, trade anything. And let's talk to this wench. Oh, you came all the way out here just to see me? Yes. You're lying, but it's nice of you. So here's a useful tip. In the past, there were there was a traveler's gate in the far east of this land. I hear it's sealed now, though. Oh, that sounds interesting. All right. Um, oh, that's a little secret passage, I guess. But um, it's, uh, I don't think you can go through that way to get back there. But let's. Uh, all right, I'm gonna rest up right now at, at home, and then I'll meet you back at. Uh, it's that one place up north. All right, I'm back. Um, now since I made a little journey back here, uh, I'll, some of my characters level up, Adon and Hope leveled up to seven, and um, Hope learned a new spell, which is uh, called Surround, and that uh, that that makes the enemies it's sort of like blind. It's like this, it's like uh, like a Final Fantasy spell, like blind. Makes the enemies they can't see, but yeah, that's that's also a very very helpful spell. But um, let's uh, let's head a little uh, let's head over here and uh, let's see what I can find. Oh, we got uh, a new enemy. Uh, it's called the Sting Wasp, and these guys these are the guys that can paralyze you. I I, I had them mixed up with uh, with the um, let's skip this battle, but uh, I had them mixed up with butterfly. Uh, let's head up here. God, the encounter rate is so high in this game. I forgot to mention that, um... I forgot to mention that the, uh... This, my god, this game is like cutting off all my sentences here. It's... Well, we got a new enemy, though. Um... The uh, magician, they can cast blaze, and they're pretty weak to physical attacks, so don't worry about them. Um, they're pretty easy to beat. Can I fast forward. All right, I think the town that I'm looking for. Yeah, there should be a town around here somewhere. I think it's up here. Oh, we got a new enemy. Um, it's called the uh, Almerudge. It's sort of like a distant relative of a horny hair. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, let's uh, take them out real quick. I'm not sure what they're susceptible to. Um, I I'm sorry, I don't know all the strategies. I only know bits and pieces. Um, I'm not. I'm not. Like I said before, I'm not big on strategies. So you know, please don't hate on me for not knowing everything. But anyway. Uh, where is this town? It's over. Oh, here it is. Right here. That's ah, already nighttime. Let's uh, rest up at the end. Alright. Alright. We got that nice, cozy music. Good morning. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Uh, let's go in here really quick. Let's talk to him. Travel east from here and cross some mountains. You should find a small spring. Many heroes are said to have left on their journeys from there. Alright. 
Well, um, before we do that, I uh, gotta end the video set now. Um, it's running a little late on time here, but um, but next time we will be ex um, heading to that spring, and uh, we we'll do some other stuff too. But uh, but until then, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you next time.